The first accumulating snow of the year is here. We have team coverage to keep you safe during the storm. Yeah, the snow continues to come down, especially in the heart of the metro area. We'll let you know how much we can expect and when it'll all wrap up. And the COVID-19 vaccine comes to North County. I'll tell you why leaders pick this spot specifically as a vaccination site. You're watching Today in St. Louis. We start today in storm alert. Snow is falling right now in the metro. Here's a live look at the conditions in O'Fallon, Illinois. We're expecting one to three inches before it stops this afternoon. And here's what the conditions looked like in Lake St. Louis. Snow covered streets leading to accidents. There's been several reports of vehicles sliding off the roads. And I know as I was making my way back from Wentzville, I saw a few vehicles off the road or up against a guardrail. Thank you so much for joining us on this snowy Wednesday. I'm Ryan Dean. And I'm Savannah Louie. Anthony Slaughter has been tracking the weather for us all morning long. We're going to get to the forecast in just a minute. But first, I want to take you out here to the streets of St. Louis. You can clearly see from how I look right now that there is enough snow to where it is sticking for really the first time this year in the city. But I want to tell I want to show you now the roads because I think this is really the major issue. You can see from here just how slick they seem to be. Now I reached out to MoDOT earlier. They tell me that they have about 200 trucks on the roads right now, but preparations really began yesterday. They also had crews come in as early as three o'clock this morning and the full staff of the 200 trucks will continue all throughout the day um, and even after the storm for cleanup. Same story, similar story for Illinois. They tell me they have about 90 trucks over on that side of the river as well. Now, before we toss to Anthony, just a quick reminder, they will have those trucks, so it's very important to make sure you almost social distance with the trucks as they're on their road. Make sure you give them plenty of space to do their job and just stay safe out there. Take it slow, take it easy. All right, Anthony, how long can we expect this weather to stay long, stay around for? Nice spin on the social distancing here this morning. Yeah, give the trucks the space they need. <laughs> we will have the snow until about lunchtime here in St. Louis. You can already start to see that leading edge pulling away from us and out towards Columbia, back towards Dwala. Things are starting to taper off, so we'll probably have this around for another two hours and then into the afternoon hours, snow showers starting to wind down. The snow is coming down pretty much everywhere this morning from all of our sky cams from O'Fallon, Illinois, down towards Cuba. You can even see the regional airport there, the tarmac completely covered in snow. And the reason it's sticking this morning is because our last couple of days have been cold. Temperatures only in the 30s, and this morning we are still in the 20s across most of the region. Now the future cast shows all of this winding down as we head towards the end of the lunchtime hour towards 3 4 o'clock will be completely done with the snow. And as mentioned, we're expecting that 1 to 2 in St. Louis higher amounts down towards Arcadia over towards Rolla. That's where you could have upwards of 2 to 3 inches of snowfall. Now we've been keeping you posted with all of the snow coming across Missouri and Illinois. Our mighty Joe Young, he has been out driving all morning long and he's on I 70 this morning in St. Charles County and you can certainly see the snow is covering the ground, especially where the cars are not driving. So as we go through the day, take it easy, ease up off the gas a little bit because we will have this at least until lunchtime. We'll talk about a very cold night headed our way tonight. We're back into the teens overnight, so whatever melts today could certainly refreeze on area roads. We'll, of course, update you on that and the full forecast coming up. All right, Anthony, we'll see you in a little bit, and we're going to keep a close eye on the weather throughout the day. And when we're not on air, you can get the latest on KSDK.com and on the Five on Your Side app. Well, the other big story.